Good morning. So it's been a while since I've done an update on my Cherokee. Uh, mostly because I haven't done much with it. Um, it's been sitting broken for a while. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, you saw in my last video, I was complaining about an issue with the uh, steering column and with the ignition switch. Well, this is the aftermath. Um, so part of my problem was this was loose and so I tightened that up as I said in my video uh, but then my ignition um, uh, was still acting up and so at first I thought it might be in here so I've been messing around in there but I didn't find anything uh, broken in there snap that back on so I don't forget um, and now after actually doing some proper research um, and the reason why this is so taken apart is I realized my ignition switch itself, not the um, ignition cylinder, but the ignition switch is bad. If you take a look at this, the old one, and uh, yeah, that that might might be bad. <laughs> the fact that it obviously at some point is caught on fire, uh, at least a little bit. Here's a new one picked up from AutoZone for thirteen dollars, which is or yeah, thir fourteen dollars even is what it costs. Um, so I'll go ahead and get this installed and see if it fixes all the uh, issues I've been having. If it does, I will be a happy camper. It goes in like this. It goes up in the column up in here. Now I'll, I'll, I'll put it in and kind of show where to go and what you have to take apart to get to it. I haven't done updated videos on this process because I've been very inadequate. Um, you know just screwing around and messing with stuff and trying to figure out what's going on without much direction um, which obviously I don't want to show my incompetency on uh, on a public forum such as YouTube I'll leave that for when you meet me in person um, anyways one other thing I did I took a break and uh, picked these up these amber lights aren't nearly bright enough so I picked up these LEDs. They were 12-ish dollars on Amazon. Maybe no, they were $24 on Amazon for these. Um, and when I got them, I realized I didn't do enough research because they didn't come with a wire. So I had to buy a wire harness for them, um, which I'll put a link to both the lights and the wire harness um, in the description of the video. Um, but it is actually a fairly in easy install. They did actually go up here where I wanted to mount these um, lights initially. And they do touch the grill. The bracket touches the grill just a touch. Just a bit. Right here. I don't, I don't know if I can get my camera in there. Let's go on the side. So it touches. But it's not really putting much pressure on there. It's just touching. So, um, and it's not affecting the lights at all. They're a lot smaller overall in size. And... I did hook up my battery just long enough to test to make sure they were working um, and then now I'll go ahead and actually zip tie this up so it's not dragging on the ground but I wanted to make sure that they worked before I did that and they definitely are significantly brighter than these puppies um, in the daylight I can see them I, I can't see these on the wall behind me but I can see these well on the wall behind me so I look forward to kicking those on um, tonight after it's dark so, and again, once I'm through and have things installed, I'll, I don't know if I'll have it be part of the same video or if I'll do a separate one, but, um, as far as getting access to this, I'll install it so you can see where it goes. Um, if you have any questions about any of the work I'm done, feel free to ask in the comments below. Happy to answer any questions thank you for watching all right hopefully there's enough light where you can see this um, just putting things back together this is the uh, bright and dim switch this has something to, I'm actually not quite sure what this does but it prevents you from starting the car properly um, I noticed I had to be up all the way and I think it's for the neutral safety or showing that it's in park maybe um, I'm not gonna take it out of park right now 
but what I really wanted to show if I can get my camera in there and sorry for the bad angle is just the setup to remove the ignition switch you have to remove just two well two bolts for it um, but it's kind of sandwich funny so you actually have to install this back one first because it's actually you know it, it screws in but then it has a stud on top of it so you screw that one in first which screws in just the switch and then you take the box for the bright and you know for the dimmer and that goes on second but it goes on top of the nut here in the back but then it's flush up here in the front and then you can screw this bolt on and these are eight millimeter both the one there in the back and this one are eight millimeter and this one is actually a 10 millimeter which screws on this piece here um, so yeah and to get to it you have to there's two bolts here one on this side and one matching on the other side that are 15 millimeter um, I also had this bar here and a second one that are like a brace for the steering and I had to take this one off because I couldn't get it to move enough out of the way for the steering column to, to drop um, but now as you can tell I have it running and I can easily shut it off and uh, it's all the way off now and then I can so now it seems to go I'm gonna have to put this back together but it definitely seems to lock uh, the way it should I don't have that uh, sponginess to it that I had before um, and of course this is kind of squampus so I can't quite take the key out but that's not important right now um, but yeah uh, ugh, let me get this going again I want to show you while I was out here the brightness between the lights so you see the amber fogs are on and the new LEDs are on and I'll show you the brightness between the two you can see immediately on the wall this is from the fog lights I don't know how that's showing up in the video but there's a bright spot there now I need to aim them they're not aimed at all correctly but there's the ambers and there's the LED lights so I'll see how those uh, go tonight after it gets dark I'm actually hitting a stopping point now because it's Arizona and it's a uh, hundred and something degrees now and it's 40 or 50 percent humidity so I gotta stop take a break it's just too dang hot I'll probably pick up either tonight or again tomorrow morning all right thank you